Hey, Tube, we're going to do something a little different here. I want to chat. So, I got to do my chore before I go. I mean, not my chore, but I got to, you know, at least, you know, not leave my girl hanging, you know. With, you know dishes and shit besides i like doing dishes anyway you know so i do them all the time after we eat and shit because you, you know your woman <laughs> cooks the meal you know might as well you do the dishes you know but uh yeah let's uh i'm gonna do an eagles recap video tonight i'll do the i'll talk more about it you know but um, just, you know, I'll just recap a win, you know, and whatnot, you know, because a win is a win at the end of the day, but I want to talk the negatives real quick because, and the whatnots, you know, I, 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 I talking to a couple of my buddies, you know, I want to do a, I want to do a, a talk, you know, sit down and talk, you know video you know i want to talk eagles football you know i i think i'm ready for it you know and i'm sure i'm sure people want to hear what i gotta say you know there's a lot of shit i want to say you know it just there's a lot of restrictions nowadays so i mean because like right now, I'm going to do the negative. So, I mean, the, people can say, oh, they won. It doesn't matter. Win is a win. Yeah, it is. But, you know, you have to talk negatives too, you know. So, people can say, oh, the defense played great. Why are you messing with the defense? Man, they've they've fooled us. They fooled us the Saints game. <sighs> they fooled us, you know. We thought, you know, they would run a different kind of thing. But they didn't, you know. They did they they did the same old crap, you know, the next game, the Bucks game. Um and look at the Saints now, you know, they can't win anymore you know so maybe the saints are mediocre you know um i'll admit the tackling got better it got better um people are still complaining about the quarterback i mean he played he played well 123.5 quarterback average that's the highest this year he's had um no turnovers. Everyone's complaining about that. No turnover. He, he didn't put the ball in harm's way. He got the ball out quick. What people were saying, oh, he doesn't get the ball. He holds it too long. He was getting it out too quick. He was getting it out quick. Slowly but surely, things are, you know, getting fixed. I mean, some of the, you know, look at the tackling. I mean, there's still some missed tackles out there, but there wasn't 15 missed tackles. Like, the you know, the last game. And there's some certain players that are still missing tackles, you know. But yeah, so the defense did. You know, I mean, they didn't fool me. You know, they they were playing backups and backups after backups, and you know, Deshaun Watson, who's done. You know, he. That guy is washed. Um, where the hell is my dog at? Oh, downstairs. <laughs> they didn't... You know, they didn't fool me one bit, you know. This game, yes, they played the Browns. You know, we got to be realistic. 
Um, they have to prove it, prove us wrong. You know, they have to go on a win streak. You know, they got to prove that everything is fixed, you know. Um, it's crazy how people are slamming the quarterback, you know. You know, and he's not he's not the problem. I mean, a, a lot of the times he's not the problem. You know, the block kick, that's you can't blame him on that. You're just you're, you're just being a hater at this point. If you're blaming the block kick on him, just Just be a different fan. Yeah, the Saquon, he messed up on that, you know, not getting the first down or whatever. But it's still third down and one. You still want to pass. You want to pass from the shotgun when they're bringing a heavy cover blitz. Cover zero blitz. You want to fucking pass. And I seen that that route they ran. This guy's fucking running deep. Nobody was there, you know. And that was probably Sirianni's play. I mean, why would you do that? You you were doing the tush push really good. Four for four. And... You don't do it. And you had two timeouts. You still had 30-something seconds. That's on the coaching. Sirianni, he's... I mean, people want him fired, yeah. You know. <clears throat> I'm at that point, almost, you know. Um... I I don't know. I mean, he's not going to change. He's not going to change. Um, and he didn't fool me, you know. He didn't fool me in that press conference. Oh, well, we had self-scout. We did all this. We, we, we talked to the players and let, we, we let the players figure out what they want to do and whatnot and... Bullshit. Bullshit. Still the same fucking shit. And the same issues. The No points in the first quarter. Still with that shit. We might have fixed the turnovers. Might have. We'll give it another game. Two games. No interceptions for Hurts. Good. But now there's more issues. Special teams issues. Defense issues. We can't get a fucking turnover. We can't create turnovers. Those two things are reminding me of the last year of Andy Reid. 2012, his last year, when... We were just, you know, we couldn't get it. Remember, we couldn't even get an interception. It took fucking eight fucking games to get an interception. Pathetic. Last year, we only had nine interceptions last year. Nine. All five were from, from, from Blankenship. Can't you believe that? A safety. Two corners had one, and then two linebackers. That's it. We can't get a fucking inter interception to save our lives. You know, we're always right there, but someone has to bump into someone. Players running into each other. Ball ricocheted off someone's fucking dick in the air and... Oh, two players right there, but they don't get it. Like it just falls down too quick, or they're a step too late, or if somebody fumbles, we're a step too late, and then the other guy gets it real quick. The 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 guy that fumbled it gets it, 
or a fumble goes out of bounds or a penalty. It's always something, you know, it, it all that shit reminds me of 20, 2012 reads last year. And I hated that fucking year. We didn't even know what the, we didn't even know what a fucking fumble. I mean, interception was. We couldn't even get a fumble too that year. It was like eight, eight fucking games. Eight. We didn't get an interception. I didn't even know what the fucking interception was anymore. When we finally got one, I was like, what the fuck? We got an interception. And it was a it was from a safety. Colt Anderson. <laughs> even if it do, we do have an interception coming, we drop it. It's like I think it's just I think it, I think it's just on purpose nowadays, you know. I think it's on purpose. I mean You can't always be a step late or bumping into each other. It's it's on it's it's personal, you know. It's undisciplined. You know. Look at teams like, you know, look at teams like the Niners. I mean, I know I give them fucking shit or whatever. Look at them, man. They draft well. You know, they have a pile of injuries. And their rookies are st are fucking good, you know. Their depth is good, you know. And these fucking rookies get interceptions and fumbles and whatever. Shutting down players and shit. And, and you know, and, and the Ravens, they draft well, too. They fucking... Why can't we ever draft good? Why can't we ever fucking do anything right? You know? I'm... I don't know. I don't know with Howie anymore, man. I... We give him his flowers and shit, but... This year should be his last, you know? I... I mean, look at all these draft picks, you know? They don't pan out, you know? I mean, yeah, st still get, I mean, Carter, Davis showed up, and Smith showed up yesterday, Nolan. Yeah, I mean, I'm not giving up on these players yet, but st why do these other teams always have better luck than we do? Why? That's the, this is the lo a lot of things that I want to get off my chest, you know, why? And it's because it's up top. You know, it's ownership, it's general managers, it's, look, I mean, Lurie, I mean, I get it. He loves explosive plays and, and he loves only certain types of shit. Yeah. I mean, it, it's your team. It, it's, you own it, you know, but don't you want them to win? You know? I mean, yeah, we get you love explosive plays. You don't love to run the ball, but do stuff that lets you win the game. You can still do explosive plays, but combine it. You don't have to, every fucking play doesn't have to be explosive. This isn't fucking all Madden. I just wish owners, you know, would think from our pr perspective. <clears throat> you know I mean yeah you're rich You're a millionaire Whatever You don't care about What we say But Be a fan For one I mean Have a f Mind of a fan You know Walk a mile in our shoes You know Let's Let's say Role reverse You know I mean I would love to You know Have a Have a You know have a lamp and be like hey let me be an owner and let this guy be a fan you know and let's see how 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 they like it they wouldn't like it you know yeah we won but we should be we should have blown this team out not barely win by four we'll see what we do with the giants if we lose i wouldn't be surprised you know um, 
But one more thing with the owner. I mean, if I was owner, I would probably be like, you know what? Maybe I'm, you know, being too overly aggressive with this. Maybe, you know, I'll take a step back and let, you know, the coaches and let them handle it, you know? I'll just, you know, sit back and relax and enjoy it. But yeah, I like explosive play. I like this and that. Let's see what they think about, you know. Let's see what they think about what I want and see if they can create it, you know. I just wish, that, you know, they they would think like us, you know. Um, and I also just wish, like, why can't we ever have stuff like that, you know. Why can't we ever have good players? Why can't we ever draft well, get good free agents, I mean, we sold our soul for that Super Bowl, you know? Um, at the end of the day, yeah, we got the W. But still, I mean, I'm happy about that. But there's still issues, man. And it doesn't feel like it's going to be fixed. You know, everyone wants to be all happy and go lucky and shit and... Until I see it, you know, until we see it as fans, we see it. Instead of the, oh, well, this and that, and this and that. Stop talking and just do it. You know, it's, it's just hard right now, you know. And why can't we ever have the good coaches? And why can't we ever have, you know, why can't the owner just let them do their own thing? Why do they have to have full control? I mean, yeah, you're rich and you can, but wouldn't you want your team to succeed? Like Jerry and Jerry and the Cowboys, they're never going to fucking, they're never going to do it. You know, they're never going to, because the Jones have too much power. You think they're going to bring in Belichick? Belichick's not going to put up with that shit. Belichick's going to want some kind of power. He's not going to have people tell him what to do. You know, he's been a coach. He's won Super Bowls. You think he's going to want people, oh, you better do this. You better do that. You better draft this guy. You better draft. Nah, he ain't going to do that shit. I mean, if he's desperate, he probably would do it. I mean, if he, if Cowboys are his last out, yeah, probably. But he's not going to like it, you know. But I just wish... They walk a mile in our shoes. And the players, you know, like a lot of the players, I'm in for putting all the young guys in now, you know. Lee BG alone, he's doing good. But like the Slays and I'm I'm also done with Goddard, man. I he's, he's We always say he's going to break out. He's going to break out. He's going to break out. Every fucking year, he never does. You know, let Grant Cal Calcaterra take control. Let, let him do something. He can't block, yeah. Maybe that's why you put Stoll in there too to help, you know. But let these other guys go. You know, the Slays and, you know. And we got to stop getting players like that, you know. We got to get players like, you know, like these other teams do, you know. But it's always us. It's always the Eagles. They always want to do something stupid, you know. That's why we... That's why we're hard on the fan franchise, you know? We're hard on coaches and hard on players because we want to win and we're tired of the same crap, you know? I'm tired of it. So, <sighs> that's what I have to say, you know? I just hope, you know, I just hope for the best. That's all at the end of the day. I'm never, I'm never going to quit, you know, being an Eagles fan, you know. People are there, oh, you can, you can, you sound like you're quitting. Nah, man, I'm never going to quit, you know, and just, uh, to, Eagle fans are frustrated, you know. We're frustrated and we have a right to, you know, we spend money. People say, oh, they don't put food on the table. They don't do this and that. Send you Christian cards, whatever. But at the end of the day, the day, we are paying for them. So we should be expecting something. 
we pay for tickets, we pay for parking, we pay for food, we pay for jerseys, we pay for accessories, we pay for other shit. You know, so yeah, we should be pissed off. We should be, you know, wanting players and coaches to do better. We should be wanting to win more Super Bowls, you know? So that's what I'm getting at. You know, we should, so we do have a say in it. So. I mean, week, week 8 coming up, or week 7, or week 8, yeah, fuck already. So, let's just try to get this shit going, man. Let's get this shit on the road. Um, I'll do a video recap tonight of what I saw, man. I, I liked some stuff, so. But, uh, peace out, guys.